Catholic News World. The Blessed Virgin Mary in the first instance of her conception, by a singular privilege and grace granted by God, in view of the merits of Jesus Christ, the Savior of the human race, was preserved exempt from all stain of original sin. The doctrine was pronounced in the Constitution in Ephibilis Deus of the 8th of December, 1854, when Pius IX pronounced and defined that the Blessed Virgin Mary was immaculately conceived. The first biblical passage, which contains the promise of the redemption, mentions also the mother of the Redeemer. The sentence against the first parents, was accompanied by the earliest gospel Proto-Evangelium, which put enmity between the serpent and the woman, and I will put enmity between thee and the woman and her seed, she shall crush thy head and thou shalt lie in wait for her heel, Genesis 3:15. Another supportive Bible passage is Luke 1 28. Here in the salutation of the angel Gabriel, he calls her in Greek Cherkikari Domene, or perfectly filled with grace. Hail, full of grace, Luke 1 28, indicates a unique abundance of grace, a supernatural, heavenly state of soul, which finds its explanation only in the Immaculate Conception of Mary. A third scriptural passage alludes to Mary, and there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars, Revelation 12 1, the Catechism says, the fathers of the Eastern tradition call the Mother of God the All-Holy, Panagia, and celebrate her as free from any stain of sin, as though fashioned by the Holy Spirit and formed as a new creature. By the grace of God Mary remained free of every personal sin her whole life long. 493. Early Christian Church Father St. Irenaeus, who was born in 120 AD said, being obedient she became the cause of salvation for herself and for the whole human race. Hence not a few of the early fathers gladly assert, the knot of Eve's disobedience was untied by Mary's obedience, what the Virgin Eve bound through her disbelief, Mary loosened by her faith. Comparing her with Eve, they call Mary the mother of the living and frequently claim, death through Eve, life through Mary. Catechism 494. Called in the Gospels the mother of Jesus, Mary is acclaimed by Elizabeth, at the prompting of the Spirit and even before the birth of her son, as the mother of my Lord. In fact, the one whom she conceived as man by the Holy Spirit, who truly became her son according to the flesh, was none other than the Father's eternal Son, the second person of the Holy Trinity. Hence the Church confesses that Mary is truly Mother of God, the Atakus. Catechism 495. According to St. Augustine, Mary remained a virgin in conceiving her son, a virgin in giving birth to him, a virgin in carrying him, a virgin in nursing him at her breast, always a virgin, Sermon 186, with her whole being she is the handmaid of the Lord, LK 138. Catechism 510. The Solemnity of the Immaculate Conception, commemorates the Immaculate Conception of the Virgin Mary in the womb of her mother Saint Anne. It is universally celebrated on December 8th, nine months before the Feast of the Nativity of Mary, which is celebrated on September 8th. Please subscribe to Catholic News World's YouTube channel. Thanks and God bless.